This one is going to be extra practice for naming the treble clef notes that are on the staff. But first, a joke. All right. Why did the grandma sit in the rocking chair with her rollerblades on? Why did the grandma sit in the rocking chair with her rollerblades on? Because she wanted to rock and roll. All right. So again, if you do not know how to name notes on the staff, you're gonna go back to one of those videos to learn how to do it. I'm gonna go very quickly as we go through and name these notes. Say the names out loud as you are naming, as you are writing them, that'll help you remember them. We've got G, G, G. Now, if this was actually your music, you wouldn't need to write a G every single time because they're in a row. You write the first one, you can recognize it. Moves down to an F up to a G, repeats to a G, and look from here to here, it repeats to a G. It goes up to an A, down to a G, stays on G, stays on G, goes down to an F, goes up to G, up to A. Now from here down, to here, it goes down to G, down to F, up to G, up to A, up to A, repeats, down to G, repeats. That repeats right here to a G, down to an F, up to a G, up going an A, this jumps down to an F, jumps back up to that A, moves down to a G, moves down to an F. Oops, sorry, didn't let you in on that one. So there we go. And then from F it moves, it skips or jumps up to an A, down to a G, down to an F, repeats that F up to a G, repeats the G up to an A, and repeats that A. And here is our page, the notes that are right on the staff, and play some music.